But first up, we go out and talk to the teachers because they are having a blue with the Brumby government. Just because a Labor government in, is in power doesn't mean it's a bed of roses. Let's have a look at what the teachers had to say. The government has had our claim since December 2006. Teachers and principals have not had a salary increase since October 2006. Our agreement expired in August 2007. We are the lowest paid teachers in the lowest funded state in Australia. Victorian teachers on the top of the classroom teaching rate earn $10,000 less than their counterparts in New South Wales. A teacher commencing teaching today in Victoria on the same day as one in New South Wales will earn $189,871 less than their New South Wales colleague over the first 12 years of teaching. A teacher colleague uh, from my school recently moved 30 kilometres north to teach in New South Wales. For him, that short drive across the Murray River is worth an extra 10,000 a year. The Victorian government has the money, an $842 million surplus, and that's just what's down the back of the couch. The salary differential between state and private schools, the salary differential between Victorian state schools, Queensland schools, New South Wales schools, and other state systems around this, the country, threatens the quality, the very quality and the proud tradition of that quality that we have here in Victoria. We are experiencing difficulty in first of all attracting teachers into our schools and secondly retaining teachers. Parents and teachers do respect our schools but the government wants to run them on the cheap. Principals are forced to employ not the best teacher but the cheapest and budget pressures on them often gives them no choice but to put teachers on contracts. Parents who can afford it now choose to send their children to private schools. This costs them more money, but it costs the government less. When students move to the private system, then our teachers follow. Just to help this process, the government has introduced a system where most beginning teachers are employed on contracts. With no job security in our system, they too are drawn towards the private system. This causes teacher shortages in the government system and teachers being forced to teach outside their areas of training. In the 90s, uh, Jeff Kennett changed our working conditions. Both we and our students still suffer his legacy today. Workloads have steadily increased. We teach longer hours with less time allowances. Our wages are the lowest for the teachers in the country. And the situation here in Victoria is exacerbated because we are negotiating in Victoria under a work choices environment. In fact, the assault on teachers and workers in, the, in Victoria started with the Kennett assault. But of course, the Howard government continued it with work choices and its predecessor, meaning that we've been in negotiating an environment which is extremely difficult and the salary and conditions reflect that. We all have a moral purpose. And that moral purpose is to provide the highest quality learning programs accessible to every student. Teachers enter their classrooms every day with one aim, to strive to achieve the highest educational outcomes and opportunities for all our students. But we know, as teachers and unionists, that quality educational outcomes don't come about without qualified teachers and quality educational environments and a proper recognition of the work of teachers. We are here because we care. We care about the schools we teach in. If you cared, Mr Brumby, we wouldn't be here today. There would be no need for this stop work. Just as we as teachers have a moral purpose, the state government, in my view, has a moral obligation to address this situation. This is about the government saying, we value you and we value state school education. 
because all children, no matter how much their parents earn, deserve a first-class education from happy teachers working in quality schools under great conditions. Education is the true key to a prosperous Victoria. It is the students of today that will solve the problems of the future. Let's give them all the best chance. When you devalue teachers, you have a negative impact on those they teach, and in the long term, a negative impact on the economy, our community, and our future. Well, those teachers are fired up, aren't they? Well, why wouldn't you be when you're getting paid $10,000 less than teachers in New South Wales? Well, more of that during the year. Now for a break, and after the break, Brian Boyd.